hello, hello. We are at this house that George the Antique Nomad is doing an estate sale at. House, there was a lot of stuff. George said they've sold a lot. I'm here at the end of day two, so we're gonna go in and see if we can find anything to flip for a profit. Let's go. All right, so we are walking up to the house. This is the end of Saturday, right before George was closing. And these houses are nice. I will tell you it's surrounded by water. So I'm super excited to go inside and see what we can find. I saw some on George's videos, but I know there is a lot more. So let's go in and see. This is a really nice house. And here are some linens, which you know are one of my favorites. Ball tickets, landing cards, credit cards, damn ships, pillows and blankets, three dollars each, pillowcases and bed linens, a dollar each. Look at this embroidered towel from China. I like this. And this is really pretty paisley. I do good with paisley things. And look at this. Another mini painting. A dollar. Amazing price. Amazing. We like it. We like it. Let's see what else we can find hiding. And some old pillowcases can be worth good money. Depending on the brand. Let's see what this one is. This one is Perfection. Parkal. I don't see another one. I would say I would like to see two of them. But like this little shirt from Cozumel, it does have some staining though. So what is this? Look at these lemons. Floral satin pillowcase made in China. Well, I think George, I'm in here, George. I found things. Oh, I knew you would. <laughs> you, you make a pile. You can uh, you can have anything you want. You can film like anything these. you want. The I mean, they're made in China, but I think they would yeah, still I sell. Yeah, I think they would still All sell. All right, this is another paisley scarf. And this one's actually maybe like a shawl. This one's pretty big. But these do pretty well. I want to dig through. Look, you never know what's on here. What is this? China cuts. Let's see what we see on here. This one is nice as well. I like my linens. You guys know I like my linens. We... Let's see what's over here. Now, this is the scarves are $3 each. Now, there's, I don't know if there's any. There's none in the top floor. But look at this purse. I love this. I love this look. So, we will get that. And then, look at this one. So, this one, what does that say? Mr. Omniser, I think. I don't know. Uh, the Book of Kells, inspired by the Book of Kells, but I like that at $3 each. And then this little, I love these little things. They're not a ton of money, but if you like it, I think you should get stuff you like. And I feel like sailboats would sell. We've got spring and summer coming up at some point. And like, here's a, this one says by Zobel, made in Australia. Anything that's made in another country, I really, really like. And then let's see if this one is branded, made in Italy, and that's a pretty print. Let's see what else we can find. Let's see. This one still has its one size fits most flirtations. By Lavello. I don't I don't really like the long scarves as much as I do the little scarves. This one 
is not branded, but that one is definitely cute. And this is very colorful as well. Kind of like an abstract. So we'll get that one too. I'm probably going to almost clear George out of these scarves. I love Echo. Echo is a great vintage brand to sell. Surprise that's still here at the last little bit of the second day. Now collection 18 Elaine Gold also does well. I'm going to, George has said I could make a pile. We're going to make a pile on this dresser. And then we will get a price from George. This one is very colorful as well. And it is built glass. So another branded one. I don't know that I like that. Now this one. And again, we're looking for either pattern or a name. And this one is Liz Claiborne, which they have done okay for me. That one is pretty as well. Let's see. And there is a ton of stuff here. So this one's another one of the Made in Italy. So yes, I have almost cleared out George's scarf drawer. I don't know if there's any more. Oh, there are. Now, these little vintage, like, sweater gloves, I bet you will sell for about 10 to 15. And then here is actually a Columbia shirt that still has the tag. Or, I, mean, I don't know what this is. Well, it's like a neck, neck chip. So look at that. There's another scarf. And the nice thing for me about these is my niece can list the scarves for me pretty fast. So that's nice. And then there were night counts. Now this one is Barbizon. Let's try and look that up real quick. Let's add to our pile. I really like this, George. What's that? This purse. I think that's really cool. I'm a lot of this stuff. I'm really surprised it's still here. It's just because there was so much. I mean, there's that, and also because never been able to sell or get rid of before, and you're just like, why did they buy it? And something that's really great that always sells doesn't. It. It's every time, and you just you never, never know. It. In this house, we sold every loose chair except this little one here. We never sell the chairs. How much are the nightgowns, George? Uh, all the $3. Now, what is this? Croatia, Holland Airlines. Look at that one. No, I'm going to behave. George offered me some popcorn, but I decided I was going to be good. This is friggin' amazing. I think that's really cute. How did, like, I don't know. So I was talking to George. I don't know how some of the stuff was still there at the end of day two because, like, that wreath was absolutely amazing. I love this little snake as well. A lot of the, like, destination souvenirs are cool. This little bell was a really nice black Americana piece. There was just so much here, and you guys are going to definitely see more as we go along. You know, what is this, George? Oh, so, like I business card like, holder? Business cards are playing cards. Probably oh. playing cards, honestly. I think it had it, it. It's made in Japan. I did not get the playing card holder, even though it was made in Japan, but I absolutely love it the vintage fan so I did pick that up I don't remember if I got this little dresser box I think I did honestly guys I got so much stuff and you're gonna see some more here as we go along but you will not see it all so I might do a haul video next Wednesday to show you exactly what I got because I found a lot after the GoPro died now these here I was asking George about he actually had them for only five dollars and they were really cool vintage albums just by themselves but they were full of travel photos. I said I was going to think about it and then I ended up not going back and getting them. I honestly forgot because there was just so much stuff. 
do you, do you guys think I made a mistake? I did. I did get these coasters, though. Those coasters were pretty cool. Now, out here, this is a really, really cool, like, beaded, um, like a trivet. It's like a trivet to go under pots. It was really nice. And then I saw this brass bowl, which had really cool carving. And then it also had a wood stand. I think that was $5. Georgia's prices were absolutely amazing at this in this estate sale. So I really, really loaded up. I honestly, with what all I got, couldn't even fit any more in the car. So here, this is a lot of office supplies. And I feel like this is an area that a lot of people miss. But some of these like vintage cards, this one with the hummingbird, and I think I put those back. But when you look at some pens, there are some amazing pens. And George had to show me these dolphins. They were generic dolphins. I left them there. Order a piece if you want them, but I don't, I don't really know. There are 34 listed. And there are 21 sold, George. Sold. <laughs> And I bet it even better with the friggin' matching clipboard. You, listen, you never, that's the thing, like, you never know. So what George and I were talking about were the Nexium pins. The sell-through rate is absolutely insane, and I ended up finding a ton of Nexium stuff, and the garage, too. These plates, I'm not sure, I think they're just plastic, but they felt like melamine to me and there were some really cool designs so I did end up actually picking up all of these I think they will sell I'm not positive the little pink played ones are really really cute and they have little matching coasters with them so it's a really nice set and then I also got the big set here which had like a serving one now Again, they're not branded, but I really feel like if I keyword them right, they will sell. And that's one of the things for me. As you gain experience, you know what you can keyword and what you can sell by those keywords. Now, this was a really cute Coca-Cola choo-choo train. I felt like that will sell as well. I looked up a few comps while I was here, but mostly I just went off of my instinct and what I know. Now, those towels there, I did not get any. I probably should have checked out all of the garden flags. That would have been a really good bulk buy. She obviously had a ton, but I did not. Now, this dish, I am looking up with Google Lens. And you can see Google Lens found it pretty fast. And it, it normally will have an eBay listing. And I like to go to those and see where they're priced. So this whole set was $10. I think there are five or six. So I definitely picked those up. I love stuff that's made in Japan, if you guys haven't noticed. And then I saw this really cool wood ashtray. Ashtrays are another thing I really like selling. The two white ones were 50 cents. The wood was priced two. And then this is a Asipex. There was quite a bit of drug rep stuff at this house and Typically, the drug rep stuff sells, and at only 50 cents, definitely a good pickup. You heard a little bit ago how well the pins do. I really, I, I really like the crocheted, like plastic crocheted coasters as well, so I did pick those up. I think those might actually be made for post-it notes because they were all with the desk stuff. Now, I did look a little bit at the playing cards. I've done okay with them. But they're typically not big sellers. They sell for like 5 to $10. So I was trying to see if there were any new. And there was the one pack that was new, which is what I actually picked up. Now, there were tons of books. And I unfortunately didn't have time to look through those. Now, these dolls, I am not sure what country they are from. But they are pretty darn cool. So I'm hoping once I get to listing them, I will be able to find those on Google Lens. And, and baskets are another thing I've done very well with. So I did pick this one up. It looked like it was very well made. And then we moved on to the bathroom. So if you don't check out the bathrooms and the closets when you're at estate sales, I think that's something that gets looked over pretty often. And you can see here, personal care items, a dollar. Wraps and paper goods are 50 cents. 
So pretty good prices. I figured I would peek in the closet. If you know me, you know I'm not a big clothing reseller. So I just took a peek at a couple of items and kind of tried to check out what brands were down there with the shoes. But nothing really stood out to me in here. If something stands out to you that I missed, let me know for sure. And the shoes, I didn't see any really good brands either. Now, these are on the wall in the bathroom. That's another place. And you're going to see later. I actually, I missed something that I saw in the video after. Here, though, do not miss these. These are little individual from the hotel. There are a lot of Disney ones. They had Mickey Mouse on them. And for $2 for the whole bag, those typically I can get about a dollar a piece for. Now, here is one of the better finds of the day as far as what I've researched so far. This is Clinique Be Happy. I got two of them for $2. They were a dollar each and they sell for $30 each. So for originals? No, they're all Royal Dalton, except for the willow tree. Are here. any of them good or not good? Well, I think, um, you know, they don't sell like they used to, but they, I'm pretty sure they sell for 30 or 35 still. Okay, so it's not They all horrible. used to sell for like 65 or 75, but that, those days are gone. So George was very, very helpful. And a lot of people that run estate sales are, guys. Don't be scared to ask them questions about what stuff sells for. I let people know I'm a reseller. Obviously, George knew I was a reseller. I looked at these dolls, but these didn't kind of pull to me as much as the ones that were out in the living room did. So I did decide to leave those there. I did pick up that Keramic napkin holder. Again, just perusing the closet really, really fast. And... I guess I did get those dolls. <laughs> I, I I honestly do not remember what all I got because I got so much. This this was an absolutely amazing estate sale. I also want to say real quick, um, stay tuned till the end and I will update you guys on the Nurse Flipper Retreat Camp. There are only four rooms left available. So if you want more information on the Nurse Flipper Retreat Camp, stay tuned till the end and I will show you what is left available there and talk about it a little bit. So this jacket was absolutely amazing. This is something I would buy, but there was no tag for brand, which was okay, but there was also no size. So this actually might have been handmade and I just decided to leave it there. Now I went back to the table cause these glass dash hound ornaments were really, really cute. Okay, now on the wall there, you see the two small oval plaques. I did end up getting those. They sell for 20 each. But what I missed is over on this other wall, there were two more, and I did not get those. So now I'm seeing the pillows. This is a really nice vintage needlepoint. I sell those for about $50. And then these quilted ones I found out are called Folded Star. They are quilted. And a cover sells for about 16 but one pillow actually sold for $79 and these are vintage. So I think those two will do very, very well. Now here, these are some little placemats and George did have them priced at $6. I wasn't really familiar with the brand or the work. I think George was saying there's a forbidden stitch that those items sell a little bit higher. I was just looking up what I saw on the tag to see if I could find anything to justify paying $6. And there were only a few listed from what was on the tag. And when I went to sold, there were none. So I skipped those. All right, now we are in the kitchen. Another place that people often look over when you're reselling. There's a lot of stuff in the kitchen worth money. So these little melamine plates, I did not look them up, but I did leave those there. However, back here, I have done very, very well with tile trivets. And this one was branded, so I did decide to get that one. And the, I can't remember if I got this elephant. I know I did get a couple of these teapots. They were actually the last things I added on, so you're not going to see them in this video. But I will show you them in the hall. But that elephant teapot was really, really cute. Whether it's branded or not, it will probably sell. Now here, these little dishes, I don't think those will sell, but I did go back. There was actually a cruise line. There were some shot glasses back there and those actually had a really good sell through rate. 
Now, I ended up getting most of the magnets off the fridge as well. Look at this little guy. I had to show him to you. He's really cool. I don't know why I didn't get him. He was only $4. I should have got him. But I did get this really cool Arabia Finland tile that was only priced at $2. Now, I, I really sh I should have got the dancing guy. I don't know why I didn't. And now we're in another bathroom. So... I try to only pick up health and beauty that is full. That Ralph Lauren was very obviously used some, so I did decide to leave that. Now, for those of you always asking how I use my camera, hello. Now you see, it is a crossbody purse with a clip right in the middle of my chest, and that is how I wear my GoPro to have both of my hands free. All right, we are in another bedroom, and there are a lot of linens. A lot of linens and you guys know I love the linens there's a lot of money in linens now this was a really pretty little quilted blanket I did pick that up and then these are some vintage sheets I think I left those there again I am not a hundred percent on what I got because I got so much I had two giant piles by the time I left and it filled my entire trunk and half of my back seat I had to leave room for Dalton and Brad because they were at Brad's mom, which is in South Florida, not far, not super far from where George did his estate sale. Now, this muslin sheet, another, this is a vintage one, new in the package and priced very, very well. And those do sell, even if they're plain white, if they are new, they will sell. So I did get those and... You can see here the bedding was $3 each. Pillow covers were $1 each. And that's a really, really good price. Now, over on the other side of the bed, this I think was a scarf. I'm not really sure. But it was new in the package, so I did decide to pick it up. And then I saw this. It said it was a kimono. It was $5. I did not research it while I was there. But check out this sold comp. It sold for $40. So that was... A really great pickup there were none listed and that was the only one that sold and then these are some tapestry placemats red white and blue those will be perfect for fourth of july and probably will sell before then and you see all of those hand towels over there are vintage there are a lot of cross stitch so we are going to come back we are going to come back to those my hands were full at the moment so we got to go sit stuff down all right after I sat stuff down, I figured I would check out what was in here. There were quite a few paperweights, but honestly, none of them overly caught my eye. I just did not feel drawn to them. And I have a, quite a few paperweights in my inventory right now. That probably has not a lot to do with it as well. That little glass dashon was really, really cute. But what really drew my eye was this apron. It was absolutely fabulous. For $8, I picked that up. All right, here are the two that I missed. I did pick up this one, but those two little ceramic plates back there, I they sell for $20 each, and I did not even notice them on the wall. And you will notice I am going back and forth because there was just so much for me to take in. This little Wedgwood trinket box was priced at eight, and I have quite a bit of Wedgwood still in stock. I did buy somebody's whole table of Wedgwood, back in November and I've so I've sold quite a good amount but I'm not wanting to add any Wedgwood to my stock right now here is another paperweight which again their price absolutely amazing at four dollars but I have a lot of paperweights in stock now now this one is an amazing reticulated Portugal plate and that one I definitely picked up all right, we are looking at the china on the table. I really like this plate, but without it being marked, I did decide to leave it because I know at this point I am getting tons and tons of stuff. So I'm really trying to stick to what I really, really like or what I think will really sell well. I saw back in the back there was an Oriforce crystal vase. So I decided I would look that up because they really are hit or miss. So I'm just typing in the pattern that I saw on the vase box. And you can see here, they're only going for about 16, upwards of $30, but undersold, they're only selling 
for around 12 to 15 on average. So that piece I did decide to leave. And then I saw this a really cool Uncle Ben's canister. So all I'm using here is the eBay app. People ask me what I use to look up kind of values so I know. So I'm searching for an Uncle Ben 10 and it did have an age on it. So I'm going to go, there were 80 listed. I'm going to look at the sold and look for mine. And it was selling for about $16 and it was priced at four. So I did get that. And then there was this amazing satin pillow, which, you know, I had to get. All right, let's see what else we can find. These I got because I just think they're cool. I'm pretty sure they're whistles. They might not be whistles, but they really, I think they're whistles. I think they're whistles and they were shaved wood. So I got those. And then there was also this really nice wood burned plate, really, really delicate, like carved edge. So I definitely got that as well. Now these spoons, I believe George is going to have a video coming out talking about these. These had a radio station on them. So they were really cool. I did not grab them at that point, but I did grab this Studio Pottery Drip Glaze little candle warmer because it was only $2. Now, I am looking up. There is a cornucopia there. If you see right to the left of my hand, and it was priced at $15. And I asked George if there was anything I might have missed, and he pointed that out. So I am looking it up, and you can see here, the top pair was selling for $800. And the rest were priced all well over a hundred. So at a $15 buy, I got it. Now we're back to the towels. If you do not know, day of the week towels sell very well. That one I believe was hand stitch. Here is another cute Tuesday one. Those are the only two days of the week that they had. But look at this applique tulips. There were just some really amazing, amazing hand towels. Here's another one. That one was cross-stitched. There is a matching one. So I am now, I cleared his scarf drawer. Now I am clearing his vintage kitchen towel rack. Absolutely beautiful. You can see I am leaving the plain ones because again, I want to know how to keyword. This one reminded me of Cinderella's carriage. That one really did. So I will probably keyword it that way. There's some more yellow Appliqued. I don't know if appliqued is a word, but the flowers were applied to the towel. Now here, this was a little girl's like lace dress. These can be hit or miss. And this one did have a tag, but I just really, at $5, I really wasn't sure what it would sell for. And I'm not familiar enough with it to know. Now here, this is a little quilted blanket. And this one, we weren't sure. I actually asked George. He thought it might have been like a vintage baby burp cloth. But I just, that one was not pulling me. It was not pulling me. So I left it there. And on the bed, I did see this plush blanket. There were actually two of them. And if you guys know me, I love selling plush blankets. Easy to ship, easy to list. All right. Now on the dresser. This is a Capa di Monte piece. It is a really pretty little trinket box. It is $3. I sold one recently, I believe for $35 that was a little bit bigger. So I think that was a good pickup. All right, we're in another bedroom. There's just so much stuff here. There's so much stuff. Now this I believe is like a shawl or a wrap. Probably maybe Peru or Mexico. I'm going to have to look. I do use Google Lens to try and identify them from patterns. And most times you can find them. Now here's another one of these purses. I absolutely love these. I don't know how anybody didn't take all of them. Maybe there were a lot more before I got there. I don't know. I don't remember seeing any in George's video though, which by the way, if you guys are not subscribed to George the Antique Nomad on YouTube, please go check him out. He is a certified antiques appraiser. He is so knowledgeable. He is extremely helpful and he's just a great guy. So if you're not subscri subscribed to the Antique Nomad, please go subscribe to George because he's just that amazing. He is one of my top favorite channels. All right, more linens, more linens. I don't know... I think George told me these are like square tablecloths, maybe. 
not sure what they are, but I like the pattern on them and I will figure it out. I will figure out what they are. I was asking George and he was thinking maybe they were napkins, but then he said after he saw the shape, he thinks they are the small square table, tablecloths, tablecloths, table covers, table scarves. This was a cute little pot holder. I did pick that up for a dollar brand new in the tag or brand new in the bag. People really like them. And that was a cool embroidered tissue box cover. I think that will definitely sell. So I started making a pile and I found more of those napkins. Now these were wine bottle holders. I don't know if they sell. Uh, I, I did decide to leave those there because I'm not familiar with them. Now I found a box of hankies. I, I probably missed a lot of good hankies because I did not go the first day, but I did not have time to go the first day. So we're going to see what we can find here. And I believe the hankies were also a dollar. Here's another one. This one said Francis. It was really nice with a name. I'm still getting them if the pattern is nice. And somebody actually just commented recently on one of my videos that they charge more for their monogrammed items. So I might try that with that Francis hanky. So mostly just plain ones left here. I'm sure a lot of people have looked through them. I was trying to see if it said what power those reading glasses were. If you watch my last live, I need reading glasses now. I'm getting a little bit older. Now here's another one. Really, really pretty with like the peach orangish rose. So that one is a good one. Now these, uh, when you are out at estate sales, check for yourself too, guys. Check for yourself and see if there's anything that you might use. I thought these dish towels were nice. They were made in India, but I got them for me. I did not get them to resell. Now I had never seen these. I had never seen these. I think George was saying he hadn't seen them either. These are like granny square pillows and there were two of them. They were five each, but look at the comps here. This pair sold for $50 and 39 cents. So I think at $5, that was a good deal. Here we go again. This is where George said he thinks it's like a square table scarf. I really, really liked it though. I really liked it. It had really nice embroidery on it and yeah. Again, a lot of plain stuff. I really am wondering what I missed. I did not get the doilies. I'm not a big doily fan. I'm not a big doily fan. Now, this was really, really nice. I do not remember the brand. And all of this stuff is still stuffed in my trunk. Still stuffed in my trunk. So we will, we will do a haul on Wednesday and go over what I got. And yeah, this will be in it. It's very, very nice. Now here I noticed this cane and this is another one. I do not remember the brand. I did not comp it. It was $15. It's an adjustable cane. I need to look up the brand. I need to look up the brand and I will show you on the haul video Wednesday what this cane is worth and we will see if I made a good purchase or not. George was showing me that it was adjustable and that definitely makes it appealing to more people than just a single height cane so yeah now here this was a cute little hummel uh like gobel little trinket box that was five but that i got so here is where the gopro died so i will do a video on wednesday for you showing you everything i got even the stuff that was not in this video all right, so I opened up booking for the Nurse Flipper Retreat Camp yesterday. We have four rooms left available. This is a small world. It is a king size bed. All of the room prices you see on my big cartel are for individual for one person in the room. And they do include the room. They include two days of classes by myself and I will have two guest speakers. And they also include your food for all three days, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This is a bunk room. So if you have a friend or if you just want a little bit lower cost, you can rent the top or the bottom bunk. That is 700 and 800. And this is another king size room that is still available. This is the Japan room, which has some really cool anime paintings on the wall. And again, all of the rooms are with classes. They are with your food, breakfast, lunch and dinner as well as your room 
This is the Brazil room. This is another king room. This is the last of the rooms still available. So we do have four rooms still available. Only three king size rooms are still left available. So if you're interested, I would definitely see about booking soon. Now, you can also get your own hotel and do classes. Here in the living room is where we will do the classes. Those will be $400 for the classes and you will get your own lodging. Now, the house has amazing bowling alley, as you see. It also has a really nice pool and a hot tub. And the kitchen, where Brad will be cooking all three of our meals for us. So if you're interested in the Nurse Flipper camp, definitely go to the nurseflipper.bigcartel.com. You will see the prices. You will be able to book. If you're interested in the class schedule, then send me an email and I will send you the class agenda complete. To those of you who have already booked and those of you who will book, I look forward to meeting you in person in April. I think we will have an amazing time. We will learn. We will have fun. We can network and it will be amazing. I will see you guys on Monday with another What Sold video. Bye guys.